Hey yo guys, it's me, Inky Crow, and today I'm going to be teaching you on how to animate in 2D using Unity 3D. In my previous tutorial about 2D animation on Unity, I wasn't exactly, you know, concise. Uh, but hopefully this time, I'll be more informative and concise and less nervous. Uh, and I'll be able to explain every step with enough detail, though I might have to divide this into multiple videos. Um, I know two ways you could approach uh, animation on Unity. The method I'll be teaching you in this video is sprite-based animation. This one's pretty easy. Um, I'll also be teaching how to access these animations with coding and a few other hacks you can do, but that's for another video. Without further ado, let us begin. Uh, this one is a more simple to set up. Uh, most of the work goes to the artist that makes the sprite sheets for the elements of the game. Uh, things that you need for this one is a sprite sheet with um, whichever, char whichever character and amount of frames there are. Um, I have this one here. This one's Pip Luke. He's an adorable one. Um, with this little guy, I'll be doing the animation. So the first thing you got to do is make a new project. Uh, like, um, I already did it. I already have one open. Uh, if you already have a project open, that's fine. Um, now you just import the sprite sheet by placing the file in the assets folder, which I already did. Um, and you're pretty much ready to begin. The engine will automatically import the image, so uh, you don't have to do anything else. Um, however, sometimes the image will not be suitable for spriting, uh, or at least not just yet. Uh, to check, make sure you click on the image file within the engine, right here, and check your inspector. Um, uh, check. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, make sure that the texture type is set to sprite 2d and ui which is already set as you can see <clears throat> uh, this will give your sheet its transparency back if it didn't have any uh, as you can see in the preview window which is right here and right here too um, but it is still not yet ready to be used uh, the next step is to change the uh, sprite type or image type to multiple oh and uh, make sure you apply make sure you click apply after that change because if you don't do that then uh, the changes will not be saved um, once after that's done uh, <clears throat> excuse me uh, this will allow you to uh, uh, to uh, splice uh, the sprite sheet into different pieces uh, in the sprite editor uh, for you to use in the game. So you uh, you open the sprite editor and you start splitting the sprites. Just uh, click, just click and hold, and then drag. Uh, these sprites are 16 by 16, so there you go. Just like that. And you do the same with the rest of the sprites. And there you go. Give them names so you can tell them apart. You do the same here. Boom. I nailed the amount. I nailed the size. And the last one which is called Pip Luke Run 3. Three. There you go. Now that you have all the sprites spliced and split, uh, you gotta click on Apply. <laughs> it's a requirement to do this. If you don't, the changes won't be saved and your sprite will remain single. Or you will have no sprites at all. Okay, now you just exit the sprite editor, and as you can see here, the sprites are split into different pieces. 
and now you can use them. Oh wait, I see a little oopsie over here. I see an oopsie. Technical difficulties, I apologize. <laughs> anyway, um, with that done, now we're, get, we're getting to the body of the video, which is animating them. For this, we're going to be using the animation and animator windows, which are these two, as well as the animator component. The animator component allows you to animate game, op <clears throat> game objects that are attached to a child to the game object the component is attached to. <clears throat> to start off, uh, make a game object, uh, most suitably a sprite game object, or drag one of the sprites you made into the scene and uh, it'll automatically make a game object for it. Now, uh, the next step is to attach an animated component using the inspector. Uh, clicking on add component, go to miscellaneous and select animator. And there you go. Um, now your sprite has an animated component, but it is still not yet ready to be animated just yet. You need to create an animator controller and attach it to the animator component. To do this, uh, you right click on the uh, project, you, select, uh, you highlight create and click on animator controller, which I will call Pitloop. And now with that done, you select uh, the object that has the animator component and you drag this to the controller variable, and there you go. Alrighty. We're, now we're almost there to make the object anim animatable. Now you click on the object with the animator, which I already did. Uh, you select the animation window and click on create. So you can create an animation clip file for the object. We're going to call this one pip look, run. There you go. Now you can start animating. Uh, you can just make sure that the uh, just make sure that before you start making any changes this button here, the record button, is active. So uh, any changes that you make uh, to the to the object uh, are saved within the timeline. <clears throat> um, now to animate the sprite, uh, you use the timeline, and you just pay, uh, change the sprite sheet in the sprite component of the object, uh, like so, like so. You see, and it automatically saves it in the frame. I mean, in the timeline. Now you just change it to, I change it to run. Then you move the cursor timeline to another frame, and you change it to another frame. Move, drag, and change it to another frame move and return to sender there you go there you have it um, now just all you have to do is preview the animation by clicking on play and there you have it pip luke is running or walking whichever you want to whichever you want to call it. Uh, you can make different animations like this uh, and uh, just create more animation clips, uh, like going here and create a new clip, make the same, uh, uh, give it a name, and uh, and uh, you'll have it a, you have a clear file 
uh, for you uh, for you to edit. You do the same. You add the uh, whatever changes you want, so on and so forth. You do stuff. Uh, with that, that kind of ends this tutorial. However, before we close uh, this video, I'd like to show you a little trick about the animator component. Uh, it's for a friend. Uh, this component can animate the object it's attached to and any object that it parents. So if if the sprite animation needs a little extra effect, uh, you can do so by creating another object and parent it to the main sprite object, uh, like what I'm going to do right now, which I'm going to uh, click on the dust and I'm going to do the same process to it, uh, multiple apply because I want to give I want to give Pip Luke a bit of an of a walking effect of sorts if, if you can call it that I want to make sure that with every step he takes uh, some dust uh, he leaves some dust trails behind Catch my drift. You catch my drift, fellas. I gotta make sure that uh, all the sprites have the same length. Gonna make sure all the sprites have the same length. Okay, this one has to be dragged here, and this one needs to be shorter. There you go. Now you just do apply. Okay, so what happens is, so I just drag this in there. Um, zero, zero. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. This is, this is going to take a while, guys. Just give me a minute. Okay, so here's what I, what I do. Um, uh, fuck. <laughs> this is going to be the start, the part where I start. Having the, cur uh, having the current anime, now that you have the, uh, object already placed uh, having the current animation clip active uh, gotta make sure it's in there yes pip look run uh, you start switching the sprite in the intervals you desire uh, put here I select dust and I keep on this dust oh wait I forgot Pfft. always activate record there dust Select the next frame, change dust, next frame, dust, and boop. There you go. Oh, wait, how about I move this over here? Three frames, three frames. frames and okay one two three one two three one two three oh wait uh, how about I change actually I'm gonna add a fourth one one two this one is two two three three and in order to keep this in okay so from here uh, I'm gonna do a bit of another trick um, animation uh, also records if when you activate or when you enable or disable 
uh, a game object. So I'm going to enable the dust. And on the third one, I disable. And now it goes forward. And there you go. Boom. There you go. Now Pip Luke makes dust with every step. Anyway, uh, that is all for this video. Uh, this little extra uh, bit will be discussed further in another video, which I will be teaching uh, how to make more complex animation, kind of similar to Flash. Um, with that in mind, thank you so much for watching. If this helped, consider linking this vid or comment on whatever helped you or what detail might have gone wrong. All feedback is appreciated. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff. I'll be working on more tutorials in the meantime, so stay tuned if you wish. And with that, I close by saying have fun and have a good one.